If you like small lenses, then stay tuned. Welcome back, Matt from MrLike.com. If you're new to the channel, I'm a UK portrait photographer, and on this channel I review camera lenses and mostly film cameras, but also Leica cameras. And in today's video, we're going to look at another Leica lens. Now the lens you can see here mounted on my Leica CL is the Leica Summeron 35mm f3.5 lens. And in this video, I'll tell you all you need to know about this little lens and why you may be interested in picking one up. Stay tuned and I'll go through all the details and then I'll show you some example photos. And I should probably point out the Leica Summeron 3.5 is a thread mount lens. And that makes this video episode 2 of Lens Series 2 like our thread mount lenses. For those of you that don't know, these lenses are designed for the Leica screw mount cameras. As I have here, and as you're probably sick of seeing from previous videos, I quite like these cameras. So although I use this lens on my digital Leica cameras, it's actually designed for cameras like this. And without the adapter, this really is a truly small setup. You're not going to get much smaller than this for a 35mm setup, full frame obviously. But I've actually used it more for digital photography rather than film photography to date, although I will try and use it for film photography in the future. Okay, so just quickly before we get into the video, if you'd like to help support this channel, it really helps me if you hit the like button because that tells the YouTube algorithm to share the video with more people and then hopefully more people get to see this video. So if you'd like to help support the channel, I really appreciate it if you take a second to quickly hit the like button and then we'll crack on. Okay, so first things first, with this being a like a thread mount or like a screw mount lens, you will need an adapter to attach this to your Leica M camera, whether that's a Leica M6, Leica M10, any Leica M mount camera. So, so if you can see what I'm using here, this is the Leica screw mount to Leica M adapter. Because this is the Leica CL, I'm using the Leica M to L adapter as one adapter. And then the small washer adapter on the front is the Leica screw mount lens adapter. So hopefully there you can see the Leica screw mount to Leica M mount adapter. It doesn't need to be a Leica branded one. You can pick these up for maybe 10, 15 pounds on eBay. And then with this attached to your lens, like so, you can now use this lens on all your Leica M mount cameras. How much does this lens cost? Now, if you hear the word Leica Summeron, you might be thinking of the Leica Summeron M 28mm f5.6 lens, which is the current Leica Summeron lens in production. That lens costs £2,200 approximately. This lens costs less. <laughs> this is the Leica Summeron 35mm, not the 28mm. And again, just to point out, it is a screw mount lens, not the current M mount lens. You can pick up a Leica Summeron for less than £400 and sometimes getting close to as little as £300, which for a vintage Leica lens is quite a, quite a hopefully good investment, good price. Now I probably just oversimplified the explanation and you're probably now shouting at the screen saying, no, no, that's all totally wrong. So let me just step back a second. The version I have is the Leica Summeron 35mm f3.5 screw mount. There is also a Leica Summeron 35mm f3.5 M mount, so that's two. But then on top of that, there's also two more. Then you also have the Leica Summeron 35mm f2.8 screw mount and the Leica Summeron 35mm f2.8 M mount. So basically they're all 35mm, the ones I'm talking about. The 2.8 lens is much more highly regarded and it's said to be better optically but you're going to pay a much higher price tag for a 2.8 35mm Summeron than a 3.5 Summeron. I have the 35 3.5 so that's the one I'm reviewing in this video but bear in mind if you want something even better and you don't mind paying a premium then get the 2.8 version. Now in terms of size and weight this is a very small lens as you can see. It is actually one of my smallest lenses. If you didn't see my video smallest lenses for like M mount cameras, this lens was featured in that video. I'll try and put a link to that below. The sun's just come out. So the actual weight of this lens is 195 grams. Now in terms of filter size, it's said to use a 36mm push-on filter. Now just going back to size quickly, if you appreciate small lenses and you think this is small, then perhaps maybe save up for the 28mm like a Summeron M latest version 
because that lens only weighs 150 grams. So it's even smaller than this and obviously even lighter than this. So if you don't mind paying a premium, that is a very nice lens to own. In terms of the look of this lens, this is a, I would say, vintage look lens. That being it is lower contrast and flares more easily when pointed at a light source. That could be even a bright sky or something like a studio strobe. It does flare easily. So being keen to cut down on some of the flare. Flare is nice to be creative in some photos, but equally I wanted to maybe have less flare in other photos. So it could give a slightly higher contrast. So my idea was if I could find a lens hood that fitted this lens, it would cut down on the flare and give me a less of a one trick pony look for when shooting in kind of bright conditions. I didn't want flare in every single photo. So I found a clamp on hood for a 50mm lens and it actually fits the 35mm lens. So it's like a perfect fit. Now you'd think having a 50mm hood on a 35mm lens would give you kind of heavy vignetting, but actually I'd, I've not really noticed little or any vignetting from this setup. So this is now my go-to setup with this lens. The lens that has a little screw on attachment and then it just sits in place. And this is a, obviously like a branded original lens hood from a 50mm Elmar lens. So this now makes it a really nice setup and much more practical because I can use it in bright conditions without the adverse effect, if you want to call it that, of the lower contrast and kind of flare in the images. Now in terms of sharpness, for the age of this lens, this is a really sharp lens, especially in the center. So for portraits, I find it particularly nice. As I mentioned before, I do believe the 2.8 version of this lens is even sharper, but I'd be more than happy to shoot this lens at or close to wide open for kind of shooting portrait shots. And then obviously like any lens, stop it down to f5.6 or f8 if you want even greater sharpness. So in summary, the look of this lens would be low contrast, sharp, vintage look, and minimal vignetting from my experience. So if you have a closer look at this lens, it's a slightly different design. You have the aperture scale on the side of the lens here, going from f3.5 to f5.6, and there is no aperture clicks. So this is a silent kind of operation. And then like someone has the focus tab design, which also is the focus lock. So when it gets to infinity, I'll try and turn it so you hear it. Click, so now it's locked. So that's the focus lock design. So you may have seen this in some other like the lenses. But as I say, really small lens. I would say I would say the front element, but it's not the element. It has a slight overlap and there's no thread on the inside of the metal here. It's actually the inside of the black, which has got a, th a thread. But I believe it's a push on filter that you need if you're going to use filters and 36 mil. So that's the lens. Now, what about some example photos? So firstly, here are some test photos when I first bought the summer on 35 mil in a shop in London. And this is me attempting to do some street photography at close range with the Leica M9 camera and the Leica Summeron 35mm f3.5 lens. Here are a few example portraits using the 35mm Summeron on the Leica M8, which is obviously a crop sensor digital camera, 1.33 crop. Next we have some portraits shot with the Leica M240. And here are some example photos shot more recently with the Leica CL, which again is a crop sensor camera, 1.5 times crop APS-C. Now I don't think I've actually shot this lens on film yet, just because I tend to use either faster lenses or more modern lenses for my film photography. That being said, it wasn't until I think 2020, end of 2019, that I discovered the amazing little Leica Barnack cameras, the ones I showed at the start of this video. Now that I'm appreciating the size of this camera, I'm much more likely to use the 35mm Summeron to shoot film with this setup if I want a really small setup because I'm starting to really appreciate the small cameras on the small lenses. But until this point, I haven't shot any film on this lens. I think this lens would be particularly nice for black and white film photography because of the low contrast. You'd really get kind of a lot of detail in your negatives. But I would look to use a lens hood so not to use additional information from kind of veiling flare. That's where you get kind of low contrast look across the whole image. 
would I recommend this lens? If you don't need a fast lens and you appreciate small lenses, then yes, I'd absolutely highly recommend the like a Summeron 35mm f3.5 or as I say f2.8 if you want even better and don't mind paying a, a premium for it. Now if you use this lens already please drop me a message in the comments are you a 2.8 shooter or f3.5 lens user. Personally I've not yet used the 2.8 versions so let me know if I need to upgrade. And lastly if you've not already done so please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and feel free to subscribe so not to miss future videos especially if you appreciate like a thread mount lenses because as i say this is episode two of maybe 10 plus videos if you prefer like m out lenses then check out like m out lens reviews series one finally a big thanks to my patrons and see you back here next week bye